All right, in this video, we're going to look at integrating some uh, functions that involve trig functions that we're going to have to do a little bit of a U substitution on to make everything work out. So um, I think we can probably go through both of these in, in this video. So uh, we'll start off here with uh, part A here. We've got 3 times x to the 5th times sine of x to the 6th. So again, I kind of recognize two things. First off, um, I see this x to the 6th uh, in parentheses, and I think, you know, um, and then I see this x to the fifth, and those are off by a degree of one. So that makes me think u substitution might might work because, you know, if I pick u to be the higher powered thing, the du will hopefully, uh, you know, bump down and take care of the lower powered part. Um, and the other thing is, you know, there's a sign in here, and the only thing I can really integrate is just sine of a variable. So that to me also suggests perhaps we'll have to do a u substitution to sort of turn that back into just sine of some, you know, just a single variable. So I'm going to pick u to be x to the sixth. Our du would be 6x to the fifth dx. So again, we've got a 3x to the fifth dx in our problem. Well, uh, to get uh, a 3x to the fifth dx on the right side, we can just multiply both sides by 1 half. And then we'll be left with our 1 half du equals 3x to the fifth dx. Okay, so now we can sort of just go and relabel all of this stuff. So again, our 3x to the fifth dx, that's just going to be our 1 half du. I'm going to pull the 1 half out front, and there's our du. And then we would have sine left over. And instead of x to the sixth, again, that's what we're replacing with u. So now we're really just integrating 1 half sine of u. And well, if you integrate that, the antiderivative of sine is negative cosine. We'll include our plus c. And again, um, I'm just going to pull the negative 1 half out. And then we have cosine of u, again, which is just x to the sixth plus c. And that would be our antiderivative for the first example. So let's see, let's look at the second one here. We have sine of square root of x uh, divided by square root of x. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to rewrite this as sine of x to the 1 half over x to the 1 half. And again, kind of the same idea. Um, I think sometimes, you know, maybe this one doesn't seem like a u substitution at first. Um, but let's see, if we pick u to be our x to the 1 half, again, kind of the stuff inside the parentheses, and the, kind of the same idea. This way, at least, it'll make it sine of a single variable. Uh, then our du would be, well, 1 half x to the negative 1 half. But we can rewrite this as, uh, I left my dx off, let's put that in there. Uh, and then we can rewrite this as 1 over 2 x to the positive 1 half dx. And again, that's really what we have in here. Um, you know, we could think about even breaking this up originally and writing it as sine of x to the 1 half. And then all of that is being multiplied by 1 over x to the 1 half. All right, we can just sort of pull this off to the side. Um, so there I am just rewriting it, hopefully making it a little bit clearer that we are 1 over x to the 1 half dx. That's almost what we have right here. So... It says du is going to equal 1 over 2 x to the 1 half dx. Well, uh, to get the 1 over x to the 1 half by itself, we could just multiply both sides by 2. So again, we've got du equals 1 over 2 x to the 1 half dx. So if we multiply both sides by 2, we'll get 2 du equals 1 over x to the 1 half dx. So again, now we're kind of in business. We can use our substitution. Um, I think to integrate this. So we'll have the integral of sine of u. And then again, our 1 over x to the 1 half dx, that's what we're going to replace with 2 du. So there's our 2, there's our du. And again, we just saw the antiderivative of cosine, or excuse me, of sine is negative cosine plus c. And I'm going to write that as negative 2 cosine, again, of u, which was, where'd it go? Just x to the 1 half. And I'm going to rewrite that as square root of x, since that's how we started, plus c. 
And that would be, again, our uh, antiderivative for the second one.